Photoshop offers us many options to achieve the same goals. We've talked about the actions panel, we've talked about the batch function, and today I'm going to show you how to create a droplet, which is a special icon you can leave in a folder or on your desktop that has several actions saved within it, and any image or folder or file that you drag over it, Photoshop will attempt to apply the actions that you've previously saved on that image. So, let's talk about creating a droplet. If we come back up here to the file menu and then click on automate, click create droplet. All right. The first thing to know is this. A droplet is a standalone application that will allow you to batch automate a single file or several files without opening Photoshop and going through the entire menu process. So if there's something that you use often, for example, if we click down here on watermark, if let's say there's a watermark that you use often, then simply set that destination. In this case, we'll choose a folder and I'm just gonna come up here to the desktop and create a new folder, which I'm just gonna call new droplet. Create, choose. That's the folder where our watermarked files will be stored. Now, if I come back up here to save droplet in and click choose, I'm just gonna select the desktop so that it's right on the desktop when I minimize Photoshop here to show you how it works. So this, I'm gonna type watermark droplet. Hit enter and then hit okay. So now I'm gonna quit Photoshop just to show you what would happen. As you can see, we have our watermark droplet here. We're gonna drag this over onto the watermark droplet. And now that's gonna open up Photoshop for us. Command Feather is not currently available. That's fine. And then it brings up another dialog box asking us where to save. And in this case, I'm gonna scroll down here, look at the desktop where I have new droplet. Name it something new. And hit enter. Easy as that. And here's the new droplet folder. And as you can see, our file is right here. That's just an interesting way that you can batch automate files without bothering to open up Photoshop and set the dialog every single time to where you need it to output. If you set your options ahead of time and they're never gonna change, you can simply create a droplet and then drag whatever files you want over top of the droplet and it will take care of the batch functions for you. That's all for now. Please remember to comment, rate, and subscribe below and send any questions that you might have to requests at mahalo.com. Thanks for watching.